One of the nicest features of the Broadcast Pick Switcher is that you can change your graphics even if they're on the air. All you have to do is to right click on the graphic in the Pix pad. That calls it up into the character generator and then you can change the numbers here like this. Press the update button and it automatically updates here on the air if it happens to be on the air. Well, what happens if you don't want to update your graphics manually like that? You want to automate them in some way. For that, we have a special option called Rapid CG. Here's how it works. First, while we are still in Inscriber, we need to identify the fields that we're going to manipulate. The way that we do it is we highlight the, the fields we're going to change, and we come here to where it says Tag, and we give them names. In this case, I will call this field away and I will call this field home. You can see that it even adds the labels down there so you can see what you've labeled these fields. Then we call up Rapid CG. And you'll see that I've already put that particular graphic into Rapid CG. If I, with my mouse, hover over the text fields that we labeled, you'll see that they come in in yellow to indicate that you can change them. And if I want, I could highlight them and type a number in. And that's as convenient if, for example, I want for a person to be changing my graphics, and I only want that person to have access to those particular part of the graphics. I just want them to be able to change, for example, the scores. If I right-click on this graphic, I get an option called Add an Action Button. When I add an action button, it allows me to add a button that will do things to that number field. For example, I can say I would like it to add a value of 1, or of 2, or of 3 to whatever value is there already. Or perhaps I would like it instead to subtract 1, or 2, or 3. Or instead, perhaps I could say that I want it to equal foul. If I want, I can even have a custom name on the button. So I can say things like home goal or home score. And one very important checkbox, I can say that whatever I do to this graphic here, that I will do that to all of the graphics that have that same information. When I update my score on this graphic, all the other graphics that have score information will be updated too. That is a really nice feature on Rapid CG. Let's have a look at some of the buttons I've already made. These green buttons here are for the away score. I can add six for a touchdown, three, two, one, and even subtract a point. These blue buttons I made for the home team. And again, I can add six, three, two, one. How many points should we give to the home or to the away team? Let's give the home team three points and let's give the away team one point. And you'll notice that that score automatically updated there as well as here on the program output. Let's give the home team a touchdown. Six points and you'll see the score stands at three to seven. And it's not only three to seven on this score, it's three to seven on this graphic and on this graphic, our full screen graphic. So now you can sort of see where Rapid CG can be really useful because you can have the same information spread out on a lot of different graphics and you can update all of these graphics at once rather than having to go through and change them all individually. So what happens if instead of tying your data to these buttons down here that you want to tie it to a database? Let me give you an example where that would be useful. Here is a picture of a member of the team. As you can see, we have a picture of him all of his statistics, his position, his name, even the logo of the team that he plays for. But we don't want to make graphics for every one of these players. We want to make one graphic and have all the other ones automatically made. All we have to do is to make that first graphic and then a database file that has all the information about all the other graphics. Then, once we have the graphic connected to the database, all we need to do is to select the player we want to illustrate. For example, I will now select player number one. And you can see here that now we have a graphic for Dave Anderson. He plays for the Lions. He's a quarterback and he has some different statistics. This is player number two. 
He's a wide receiver with some different statistics. His name is Marlin. He plays for the Hillies, and here is his picture. This capability is really useful for more than just sports. For example, you can use it for election returns, for anything where you're going to have the information normally in a table form. Another nice advantage is if your producer should want to change the design of your graphic, which they commonly do, you only need to change the template and all of the graphics that are based on it will automatically be changed too. Let's have a look at a different type of database file. This is a weather map. We have a feature in RapidCG that you can automatically link to the US Weather Service. All you have to put in is the zip code. Notice up here on the upper right that we also have a clock. You can link text fields to clocks. It simply is looking at the system clock and it will put in the time down to the second. The information for this graphic is coming over the internet. So the question comes up, what other information can we get over the internet? Well, we can take an RSS feed. That is a generic information format that a lot of websites put out. And you can make it that it will automatically auto advance through the stories as they come out on the RSS feed geographically is constantly updated with the latest information. So that's a quickie tour of Rapid CG. It allows you to tie your graphics to clocks, timers, dates, RSS feeds, the US Weather Service, and database files. With this capability, you can make really slick and polished graphics very quickly and easily. And the important thing is, RapidCG makes it very intuitive with the action buttons and with a very easy way of tying the different fields of your graphics to the actual database or internet parameters that you want to look at. Most importantly, it's compatible with the graphics that you're already making on your broadcast pick switcher. So you can use those high quality graphics that you already have and, and automate them with Rapid CG. Have a look at our website at www.broadcastpix.com. We have more information about Rapid CG there.